South Carolina, of course, is a uh, rural state. There are areas that have less favorable access to health care. So we know that there are health care disparities throughout the state. Looking at the, the problems that we have in the I-95 corridor here locally in Charleston and North Charleston, they really seemed insurmountable, like the things we could do would be very difficult. And when, when I learned more about telemedicine and what it can do and what it's done in other parts of the country, um, it was amazing. It seemed like the only answer. Technology might be the only answer to make a quick change. I see telemedicine affecting the care mainly because it brings the care to the patient. They're not having to go out of their community. They're getting to stay local in familiar surroundings. I like to think of it as um, going back to the old days of, of doctoring where you, the doctor would walk around with a little brown bag and go and see all the um, and go and see the patients at their homes. You know, we've gotten to this model where the patients come to us and we sit, sit in a building somewhere and now we're really actually bringing the care closer to that. So when people are, are concerned about the, about the new way of doing things, I like to tell them it's, it's more like what we all wish we could do. You know, I think we have uh, a, a tremendous commitment to uh, telemedicine and telehealth in general here at MUSC, and it, it really starts at the top uh, with President Greenberg, but it's also manifest in the involvement of many groups with telemedicine efforts. The REACH program uh, is a, essentially a partnership between MUSC and specifically the Neuroscience Service Line, and within that the stroke group. Uh, of which I'm the director, to um, provide critical stroke services to our partner sites. And we are essentially, we serve essentially as the hub. These delivery sites, or sometimes they're called spokes, are where the patient presents. The reason why the provision of critical services over telemedicine is so important is because there's a limited time window to treat the patient. I think that the uh MUSC REACH program has helped improve the care of our acute stroke patients here at McLeod uh, because it's allowed us to uh, go about the care of these patients in a very standardized and uh, efficient process. Maternal fetal medicine specialists are obstetricians that have additional training to deal with high-risk pregnancy. McLeod, the PD region, lost their maternal fetal medicine physician and we went to help them continue providing maternal fetal care for the patients in their area. A lot of what we need is consultations from them, just some guidance on how to care for these patients. They have access to them um, via telemedicine, they have access to ultrasounds, they can look at these ultrasounds in Charleston and then they can call me if there's something that needs to be dealt with here. They are a resource and a complement to our obstetricians here. We have excellent care here for them and this sort of gives the obstetricians a place to confirm their treatment plans and we're able to keep a lot of these ladies in the community to deliver here. A virtual teleconsult clinic could be useful, at least in some settings, to provide patients and their primary doctors access to specialists without having the patient travel long distances, spend money, spend time, bring somebody with them. We're a very rural school and a very small school. We're about 22 miles from the nearest hospital and we are also medically underserved. So for our students, we were finding that they were either not getting health care that they needed or they were going to the emergency room. Kids have a hard time getting to care. They can't drive themselves. The parents are often working. Um, they can't take off work. They bring in the care right to where the children go. They all go to school. just makes too much sense, and it's something that we can't ignore, and we have to keep trying. This really has allowed us to expand our practice to be able to offer services that we would never have been able to offer to our students. For the doctor, you really do provide, let them be this, the medical home center. You know, they can be the captain of their own ship. They can sort of be in there with the consultation if they want to. They know immediately what the results were. The patients are coming to them, so they don't skip that primary care provider. Uh, I've never felt left out of the decision, and I've always felt like I'm a part of that decision, and I appreciate that. We're their eyes and their hands, really. And that has been, 
I found to be very rewarding for me as a staff, and I, I do feel part of the team. The patients, I think, like it from what I can tell. It may be that we just need to get the physicians to catch up a little bit because it represents such a departure from of what they're used to. The patients really like it. Uh, they think it's cool, it's like something in the movies. Um, they feel like uh, they're getting the latest, the most up-to-date in their care. I predict that over the next few years we'll actually be doing more things with telemedicine. I think it's really going to grow. I'm very excited about the future of telemedicine. I think it has the potential to, to reshape medicine in the future. It may be the technology of the future.